grace and peace to each and every one of you on this Sunday morning. I'm glad that we have these few moments to be together and worship, whether we're nearby or maybe a bit farther away in the mountains or beaches, maybe with our family. As we begin our time of worship today, we'll start just like we would at church by singing together. Please join me in sanctuary. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, and with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you. Amen. As we get ready to hear God's word today, we first light our Christ candle, reminding us that Christ is present and with us in this moment. And it being summer, I know sometimes we're a bit busy and restless during our day, so let's take a moment to just still ourselves so that we're ready to hear God's word. Close your eyes. First, get your wiggles out of your hands and your feet. Stretch your neck around. Make sure you're comfortably seated. And then let's breathe in and out. For today, let's just do one more for good measure. Breathe in and out. And hopefully our minds and our hearts are quiet. We open our eyes and our ears, ready to hear God's word. Our story today is going to come from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10. Then a teacher of the law stood up. He was trying to test Jesus. He said, teacher, what must I do to get life forever? Jesus said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? The man answered, Love the Lord your God. Love him with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind. Also, you must love your neighbor as you love yourself. Jesus said to him, Your answer is right. Do this, and you will live forever. But the man wanted to show that the way he was living was right. So he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? To answer this question, Jesus said, a man was going down the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. Some robbers attacked him. They tore off his clothes and they beat him. They left him lying there, almost dead. It happened that a Jewish priest was going down the road. When the priest saw the man, he walked by on the other side of the road. Next, a Levite came there. He went over and looked at the man. Then he walked by on the other side of the road. Then a Samaritan traveling down the road came to where the hurt man was lying. He saw the man and felt very sorry for him. The Samaritan went to him and poured olive oil and wine on his wounds and bandaged them. He put the hurt man on his own donkey and took him to an inn. At the inn, the Samaritan took care of him. And the next day, the Samaritan brought out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. The Samaritan said, take care of this man. If you spend more money on him, I will pay it back to you when I come again. Then Jesus said, which one of these three men do you think was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by the robbers? The teacher of the law answered, the one who had helped him. Jesus said, then go and do the same thing he did. This is God's word for the people of God today. Our story today reminds us that it's important for us to think about who our neighbor is. In this story, a man is badly hurt and three different people go by. The first two are who Jewish people would have normally expected to stop and help the man. We don't know why they didn't stop, but they didn't. But the third man, a Samaritan, was basically like an enemy to all of the Jewish people. They didn't get along at all. 
And so the people hearing this story would have automatically assumed the Samaritan would never stop and take his time and money and effort to help out this man. But he did. What does it mean for us to be a neighbor today, in this time, in this place? It won't look exactly like it did in the story. It might mean that we wear our masks even when we don't want to. Being a good neighbor might actually mean keeping six feet away instead of running to help like the Samaritan did. Maybe it means having patience or letting people who are lonely talk to us or making sandwiches for Cathedral Kitchen. Being a neighbor today might look a little bit different than it normally does for us. But also, we're asked to think about who is our neighbor. There's some answers that come to mind automatically. We think about our school friends as being like our neighbors, our family. We maybe think about those who live in the houses right next to us or people down the street. But are we supposed to be a neighbor to people in New Jersey, the whole of the US or the world? How big do we have to go? Who is our neighbor? I think Jesus reminds us in our story that we are all neighbors to one another. So this week, let us look for a way that we can learn something new about someone maybe that we were mistaken. Let's also take time to think about what it means to be a good neighbor right now and right here. And what are those small actions that we can do to let others know that we love and care for them? May we keep our eyes open, ready to help whenever needed. Amen. Let us take a moment to pray and be with God. Good and gracious God, I thank you for each and every person in our community. I thank you for their gifts and talents and the way we wouldn't be the same without one another. God, we thank you for our family and friends and all those who love and support us each and every day. But we thank you for the challenge that Jesus reminds us about today. To look beyond who we might normally think of as our neighbor. To make sure each and every person is cared for. We ask you to be with those today who need food, clothing, shelter, doctors and nurses to take care of them if they're ill. God, help us to be good neighbors and help us to want to learn more about one another. God, we take a moment to give thanks for the good things in this past week. And we also take a moment to ask you to help us know what it means to be a good neighbor. We give you our worries and our fears and ask for your guidance. And may we go out today saying and acting out the prayer your son taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. As we finish our worship time together, let us sing, Go Now in Peace. Go now in peace, go now in peace. Let the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. As we finish our time together, we take our Christ light out, which reminds us that God goes with us in every place and every time, even when we cannot see him. May we go out today and be good neighbors to each and every person we meet. Amen. <laughs>